Hi, my name is Angus Robinson, Product Marketing Manager at Anritsu Company. Today I'm going to show you some of the key features of the RTSA in the new Fieldmaster Pro. We'll be focusing particularly on looking at the 2.4 GHz spectrum. I've got a microwave oven, uh, a digital watch and a Bluetooth speaker here as well as some wireless LAN access points that we'll use to generate signals of interest. Another useful tool for showing us the history of what's happened within the spectrum is the spectrogram mode. If I enable spectrogram, we build up a history of what's happened over a period of time and we can clearly see the activity in the wireless and access points here and here and we can clearly see the Bluetooth low energy packets. And again, if I bring the digital watch closer to the antenna, we can see that the Bluetooth low energy advertising packets are shown with greater into colour intensity. Now I'm going to enable the Bluetooth feature on a smartphone. As soon as the Bluetooth feature is enabled, the smartphone goes into an inquiry scan mode where it looks for other Bluetooth devices. In this case it's hopping in a fixed pattern and that fixed pattern is clearly visible in the spectrogram trace. This phone has previously be been paired with a Bluetooth speaker. So now Following the inquiry scan, the phone will pair, connect to the speaker again and will be able to stream audio. Once the connection is established, it's no longer an inquiry scanning mode. And if I play music, you can see the Bluetooth activity with the, bla the black marks representing the individual hop frequencies in the Bluetooth signal. It's also interesting to note that over a period of time, Bluetooth will exclude channels where there's an active wireless LAN signal. This is known as adaptive frequency hopping, and it's a way of ensuring that the Bluetooth signal or signal gets through, even in the presence of other transmitters. I've now started streaming music again over Bluetooth from the smartphone to the audio speaker, and we can see the Bluetooth signal the top display here is avoiding the area where the wireless LAN is due to adaptive frequency hopping. What I'm now going to do is turn on the microwave oven. And when I turn on the microwave oven, we can see just how much power radiates from the microwave oven, making it very difficult for other signals in the, the ISM band to maintain communication. When the oven stops, we can see that the Bluetooth signals have all migrated to the part of the spectrum where the microwave oven was less powerful. And the music did continue to play through the, the heating of the, the meal in the oven. I hope you found that brief overview of the RTSA feature of the 2090A Fieldmaster Pro interesting and informative. It really shows how powerful an RTSA can be for monitoring real-time signals and especially looking for interferers and seeing how dynamically signals change in the presence of other signals in the same frequency band. Thank you for watching.